valuable. So this is the Phoenix Bolt. Okay, so the way I describe this is step one, sailboat. Okay, sailboat. After you get sailboat, you're going to go. you get house, now you'll notice you have an open end and a closed end. Okay? You're going to fold the closed end towards the open end three times. One, two, three. Then you have something that looks like this. From here, this is where we're going to do a little bit of 3D math. You're going to take your pot and you're going to measure the radius, which is the halfway point. So you can just guesstimate halfway in, and then from the edge, you're going to measure the, the distance of the radius of the pot, about like that. So that's our line. You're going to cut right there. You're also going to cut a little bit of the tip off. Get that in your food. Then what you're left with is something really cool. You have a lobster bib. <laughs> you can see those in the map. What you have is, you can all do an off to like, a cartouche! Ooh. Ooh. Yeah, it's very exciting. The, the purpose of the cart, this is very high level cooking. What we're doing is you have all your stuff in there, your liquid, your greens, your seasoning. You've tasted the liquid, it's seasoned properly. Then you're gonna put the cartouche on top and it's gonna sit right on the liquid top, okay? And the purpose of the cartouche is as liquid evaporates off, it's going to bring with it volatile essential oils. You don't want those escaping. It's not a good idea to make the kitchen smell good. You want the smell to go to your guests, right? So this is how you keep all those aromas inside the pot. There's a little hole in there to let some of the steam off. And then you put your lid on. Okay, so that's the cartouche. Once the lid is on, how do you know you can't see anything? It's kind of black box cooking at that point. So if you see a little curls of soft steam coming out, you're golden. If there's nothing coming out, you'll want to peek in there and see what it's doing. If there's lots of, if it's like a steam kettle whistling, it's too hot. So those are your visual cues for that. How do you know when it's done? Well, it's going to be about 20, 25 minutes, and then you you can take the uh, pot off when you think you're done. Take the pot off, turn it sideways, see if any liquid builds up on the bottom. If there isn't, then you can take a fork and fluff it up. Okay. Questions on that one? It's a little bit hard.